Well, took a huge loss trying to short Tesla. I want to try to be transparent. I know I've focused on a lot of the good and this month has been great. Like I've gone on a pretty solid run trading Tesla and Tesla's treated me really well. But I think it was kind of only a matter of time before I had that potential big loss. And today was that big loss. And funny enough, it comes towards the end of the month when I feel like big losses shouldn't be happening right around this time. And I just, it goes to show that no matter how long you've been doing this, and especially you add kind of the crazy factor with Tesla, like sometimes I just make mistakes. And today I just I made a mistake. I had a thesis on maybe what this could possibly do. And really the big issue was that I'm sure a lot of people have is I just, I held the loser. I held the loser way too long. And I ended up just giving a ton of money back. But just to go into the loss itself, huge loss, a lot bigger than, than I'm kind of used to taking. But when trading Tesla, I guess it's just, it's a part of the game. And every now and then you slip up and the number is just a lot bigger if you are reckless. And today I was reckless and I lost a lot. So there it is. It sucks to look at it, but you know, I'm, I'm lucky enough and I hate to even think like this. And this is where I think I got a little, where I went down a pretty bad road is that, you know, I had it to lose because the month has been great. And I genuinely think that while I was in the trade, I, I, I seriously think that as far as like the mental psychological aspect of it, I think I lost it a bit. And I think I just kind of had in my mindset that, Hey, you know, I have, I have the cushion playing the cushion game, playing that I have it to lose, which is just, which is crazy and is stupid because that number should never be that big. No matter how much I'm up on the month, listen to the chart. And if the trade is not going in my way, pretty quickly just cut it. And I'm noticing that with Tesla, I have a very high win rate because I, you know, get in at the right spots and there's usually a lot of follow through. So the win rate nice and the winners are nice, but when I have those losers, they can be pretty big. So that's something that I have to note and I have to be careful of. And so just the, there it is. That's the huge loss and just to go over kind of where I traded it. So this is what I thought coming in. Tesla had gapped up a little bit. It was weak pre-market. And then it, towards the open, had a nice push. Off the open, this thing ripped. I should have been involved in this name off the open. I just didn't, I didn't think it, once again, I didn't really think it had a chance to rip at the open because the overall market was still, there wasn't really a direction that was chosen. A lot of names were in between, you know, right in the middle of their ranges. So missed this entire move higher. And then when Tesla started to sell off, in my opinion, I was thinking, man, that just gave back that whole morning move. And Tesla was trading right at the 20 simple moving average. It's gone on a tear and it has some downside gaps. So I was thinking if this goes red and it takes out low a day, which is 1413, maybe it starts to have another sell off. So that was what I was thinking. This is the general area this is right where I got short, right in this area. So problem number one, entry. My entry was bad. I chased it, but I had the belief that if it goes red, there'll probably be some follow through. In all reality, I should have been kind of these, these little flags right here. This, these were some areas to get involved. And I just let them go by even right here. So 1440s, 1430s, my style kind of big move down, nice bounce. Momentum scalp short, little flag pattern break. That would have been the area to give it a shot and then play for the gap fill. And then when it didn't go red, that would have been the, all right, the momentum is slowed down, let's get out. And instead, I kind of waited. I just waited, 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 ended up getting short. I was up pretty quickly, but then instantly bounced. I should have cut this thing as it started to reclaim 1425 and started to get over the nine exponential moving average. And I didn't foolish decision. I should have cut it. And then it even gave a couple opportunities to get out where, you know, a little bit of a flag pattern, nice, strong move makes it, you know, as it goes, it makes that new high in that area, 1430s, there's another out. Well, what did I do? I continued to hold it. Cause I thought, let's give this one more shot. Tesla's insane range. 
And when you're in that space mentally of let's give this a shot, let's wait, let's be patient, you usually get wrecked, absolutely wrecked. And I got wrecked doing that. And then I ended up getting up all the way out here. So as this thing had a nice little pullback again, here was another opportunity to get out. And instead, what did I do? Continued to hold. And I ended up getting out right around here. So I let this go against me a lot harder than it needed to. And it sucks because I could have cut that and I could have had that loss be probably under a thousand bucks. And in the moment, it sucks. Like in the moment when you're down a decent amount of money, it sucks to just accept the loss. And that was my issue today, just accepting the loss. And then you look at after the fact, I started fighting it. I started emotionally getting attached to it. So four years in, still having some demons. And then that number got way bigger than it needed to. So it's a crappy feeling, but I'm appreciative that I did have, I, I had it to give back, but that's a stupid way to think because trading should never be about that. It should be about your, the process, the routine, you know, the rules that you have to be able to, this is where you should get in. This is where you should get out. And I just let that go. I let that go and I got, I got beat up. But looking at where I got out on the chart, looking at Tesla after the fact, I'm glad I got out. I mean, had I just held it and I went, ah, screw it. I'm just going to hold this. This went about a hundred points higher than where I got out. So I am glad that I got out where I did eventually. And I just got, I could have got out way sooner, way sooner. So I know that I talk about trying to show the good, the bad. And I feel like at times I can highlight the good a lot. And this is a bad, this is a bad moment. You know, this is, this is a situation that doesn't feel great. And it makes me feel like I take a little bit of a step backwards. I've been doing this long enough where I know that it's a bit of a hiccup. I just have to be careful and just be disciplined, you know, be disciplined and, and don't fight it. And then change my mental as to not playing that cushion game and realizing that it's been a fantastic month and, oh, I have it to lose. Like those are, that's a crazy way to go about, you know, a losing position. And I was guilty of doing that today. So just, a, you know, still always a work in progress, not perfect, never will be perfect. Have to be careful and realize that every now and then I'm just going to take some lumps and make some stupid mistakes. And especially being on a Monday, I think, you know, over the weekend, get a little antsy come Monday want to be involved in the market and then all of a sudden can make some stupid decisions. And, you know, I did the old and it's crazy because I took a handful of trades off the open in AMD and BA and I didn't really get anywhere with them. And I was flat on the day. I think I was up like 50 bucks. So flat day is an okay day. And I've done this a lot where a flat day turns red and then red turns really red and it's unfortunate, but I'm just going to accept it and then move on. So go get a workout, clear my mind. And then I'll be back tomorrow and for the rest of the week and hopefully can end on a positive note and finish off a nice month. But that's it. I just wanted to highlight some of the negative because I think I can do a better job at doing that instead of highlighting a lot of positive because there is good and bad with trading. And a lot of people don't talk about the bad. Today is a good example. Hopefully you didn't get caught short Tesla like me. And if you did, you were able to at least get out of it without getting too beat up and live to fight another day. Appreciate you watching. Until next time, later.